On the 15th of June 1215, Magna Carta, one of the most famous documents in the world, was approved by King John when he added his seal to it in a field at Runnymede near Windsor in England. Welcome to History Pod. Magna Carta, which is Latin for the Great Charter, confirmed the principle that everyone, including the king, was subject to the law of the land. It also gave all free men the right to justice and a fair trial. Now this may sound progressive, but the reality is that at the time many people in England were not free men. They were villains who could only seek justice from their lord. Although many people celebrate the advancements brought about by the 1215 Magna Carta, it ultimately failed to solve the dispute between John and the barons who brought it. Just ten weeks after it had been sealed, Magna Carta was declared null and void of validity forever by Pope Innocent III in a papal bull. The Pope's declaration led to the First Barons' War, a civil war that erupted in September and that was still being fought when John died of dysentery a year later. The war didn't end until 1217, by which time the majority of the barons had changed sides to join John's son, the nine-year-old Henry III. Magna Carta was reissued many more times by subsequent monarchs, and the 1225 version was finally entered onto the statute roll in 1297. Although almost all of the clauses were later repealed or superseded in the 18th and 19th centuries, Magna Carta is still regarded as a symbol of individual freedom against despotic rulers. Four copies of the original document survive, and these were brought together for a special exhibition at the British Museum to mark Magna Carta's 800th anniversary. Mm -hmm.